members from Student Council came in to tell us how you can get in the spirit and orange out for tomorrow's game against Eaton. I'm Ashley Davis and this is my sister Madison Davis and we are Student Council Executive Board members and this Thursday is the Eaton game which is also orange out. We are selling orange feathers, orange streamers. The feathers are $2 and the streamers are $3. We're also selling Eaton shirts, which are $10, and all the proceeds go towards childhood cancer, which is orange out. Now here's Ms. Arnold to introduce a new segment here on NHS TV. Good morning, Texans. I wanted to introduce a new segment to you, and the first one that's going to be up is Mr. Childers. Every day you're around teachers, whether they're coaches or sponsors or even just people that you see in the hallway, and every Texan has a story. We're all at NHS now, but sometimes you might want to know, how did we get here? So today we're going to start out the first of many series where those teachers will kind of tell you a little bit about themselves. It might be about their childhood. It might be about their college experience, but whatever it is, it's going to be a part of them that tells you how they got to be who they are. My goal for us is that we all look around and go, everybody has a story. So today is the first one, Mr. Childress telling his Texan story. Enjoy. Hello Texans, this is Jason Childress, principal here at Northwest High School, and I wanted to just give you a little insight on my background, because I think a lot of you see me walking down the halls and you, you know, you think that's the principal. I've always loved education, I've always had, you know, this and that, and I just wanted to give you a little background on my story. Um, I grew up in West Texas in a small town. My parents got divorced when I was in eighth grade. Um, I grew up with uh, with an alcoholic father, and uh, you know I'm not telling you that to to be a sob story. I'm telling you that to say you can overcome things. Okay, I know a lot of you go through things in your life, and many people don't know about that stuff. But needless to say, my parents got divorced when I was about to go into eighth grade. Uh, my father moved away. And then my mom ended up meeting my stepdad now, uh, who's an amazing man. They've been married for 25 years, and he his, he's taken me on like his son. And so that's the backstory on that. But we ended up moving from La Mesa to Slayton, Texas, and I finished my freshman year in Slayton. And then I moved to Friendship High School, and that's where I ended up graduating from. Uh, in high school, I was in the, the, they called it the work program, now it's co-op, um, but essentially I went to school until about 12 or so and then I went to work um, because I needed to, to help the family and, and that's what I did. Um, so I, I worked, you know, my senior year in high school. I did play sports and things like that. I was in ag my freshman year, um, played sports 10th and 11th grade and then ended up being in the work program my 12th grade year. Um, graduated high school and I, I probably wouldn't have went to college if it weren't, weren't for my older brother. He's six years older than me and he was the first one in my family to actually go to college. I started at Texas Tech, um, had to pay my own way. There was no way that my family was going to afford it, but I, like I said, I followed his lead and I took out student loans. Um, I didn't have counselors at that time that called me in. I didn't have UNT coming in to, you know, talk to me or the local local college coming in to talk to me about FAFSA and filling out forms and all that stuff. So I kind of had to do it on my own. Um, but I, I'm just telling you, if there's a will, there's a way. Um, I don't care what background you come from, what you're doing, you can figure things out if you want to. I didn't pay off my student loans until I was 35 years old. Now I'm 40. Uh, I know I look 20, but it's fine. Um, but anyway, graduated from Texas Tech. Uh, I start, well, I started at Tech, ended up going to South Plains College, which for you guys, it was, it's the equivalent of TCC um, because it's cheaper. Uh, I got my basics done, which means your, your, you know, your core classes. I got those done and then I started my, my um, classes towards my major, um, ended up graduating teaching and coaching for a few years and then decided to get my um, master's degree uh, so I could become an administrator and got that and now here I am and um, I'm halfway through my doctorate. Uh, fortunately I was able to pay for my master's on my own um, and my doctorate, I'm ha like I said, I'm halfway through it but um, it's on hold right now um, and um, I'm, I'm paying for that myself but uh, it, it's just a, a difficult process you know but I, I tell you all that to tell you I know you all come from different races, shapes, and sizes, and backgrounds. Just know that um, if you want to go to college or if you want a good career, you can do it. Um, you, you can figure out a way and don't let your background, don't let your history decide your future. 
um, because you can change your future. And I, I just want you to know that and I want you to believe that. It doesn't matter where you come from, uh, it just matters where you're going. And you can change your future, you can make your life better. And if you make your life better, you're gonna make your kid's life better one day. And you're gonna make their kid's life better one day. Um, and so just know that, that you can do it. And um, I, hope, I hope this is an inspirational um, series and that, that you can get some, some belief out of it and go do work. Thank you. If you're a teacher who would like to share your story, email us the times you're available at NHS at, at NHS TV at NISDTX.org. Thanks for watching Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.